Okay, so in this video I'm going to explain how to plot a PDF set with the names as they need to be according to this um, project because there's no way to plot the PDFs with the names that they need to be. Uh, back to our favorite friend, the master drawing list. Uh, this column shows the way the wh what the file name needs to be for the PDFs and actually I'm going to create another column for the DWGs. Um, so you'll note it's not the same as the sheet number as, and it's, it's not even the name the same name as the drawing number. It's got some extra crap in it. For breakdown it's the drawing number up to up to here and then it's kind of like the part you know 01 of 1 or 01 of 6 or whatever and then the last digit is the revision number or the current revision override parameter. So that's how that gets built. Um, I'm not going to do the entire set because I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to do like five sheets in this example. So go to the blue beams. Uh, what that ends? Yeah, blue beam. Okay, uh, bookmarks make sure bookmarks are enabled. That's, uh, let's go with drawing. Do that. Uh, come back here to page setup. Do custom. Well, ideally, your blue beam doesn't fuck up. Mine does. Um, really try to make sure your blue beam plug plugin works well, because that'll really help out. Um, I'm just going to not use it for this, because I can get away with that. So I'm just going to print these six, the first six ventilation zone plans. And I'm going to say create separate files. Make sure that it's set to the right ISAO. Black lines, check, check, check. 100%. That looks good. Set the files. Plug the plugs here. it's going to ask me where I want to put these. This is why Bluebeam is going to be so much better because it doesn't want, it's not going to ask you where you want to put every single damn one. Uh, and like you don't, and, and, like, and you only want the sheet number either. Like this is shitty. So really make sure that you can get um, Bluebeam to export all these guys. It'll make your life way easier. Otherwise you'll have to sanitize um, the sheet names. And like, <laughs> what the hell? This one, landscape. This one, landscape. This one, portrait. Yeah, why not? Let's see what this one does. Portrait as well. Okay, so that's all of them. Um, gonna sanitize the names really quickly. Blah. 
Right, so what we're going to do next doesn't like long names, and it doesn't. It also doesn't like things like commas, stuff like that, which we have a few of, and it doesn't like spaces. So, uh, obviously, you know, I'm going to just manually sanitize them, um, but it would be a total pain in the ass to uh, manually sanitize all 200 and some odd sheets we've got. So don't do that. Uh, Bluebeam. What Bluebeam should export is uh, what I'm sanitizing these manually to be. Next step is to copy these guys and put them somewhere that's closer to your C drive. Because I'm not very good at navigating um, command line. So C, I'm just going to call it FSB, and I'm going to paste these guys in here. Next step, start, type in CMD, go to the command line, change directory to the directory, so that's C, FSB. Oops, uh, change directory C colon slash SFFSB. And then type in DIR forward slash B. And it gives you a list um, of your PDFs, your file names. Right click and hit select all. And then right click and hit mark. Then open up a new, open up a new workbook in Excel and paste these guys in here. Don't need that, don't need that. And then, so this is the uh, old file name. And then what we want is we want the new file name. The new file name you're gonna paste in from the document list, master document list, so. Come down here, find PL. Shot past it. There we go. Uh, these guys. Uh, it is these six sheets are what I'm doing. So I come over here to the file name and I copy these. 50601, yep. Copy, go back to my other guy. Right click, paste values. All right, so I got a column of original file name, old file name, the one I don't want, then I have the file name I do want. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna make the command in the command line that's gonna tell it to rename all these things. So type equals, type REN, uh, type quotations, REN, space, pre uh, quotation mark, pound symbol, otherwise known as concatenate. Uh, Use the left arrow key or just click on this cell to reference that one. Ampersand, again, uh, you're gonna need a space in there. Ampersand again, uh, this guy, hit enter. So that's REN, space, this guy, space, this guy. And then you can just drag that down and then copy that, control C, go back to command line, uh, let's, for the illustrative purposes, back to the command line, hit right click paste. Boom. And then these are good to go. You can copy these into wherever it is that they are going.